If you're wondering what it takes to hire a rock star cleaner for your short-term rental, then watch this video because we're gonna break down the steps you need to follow. Hey guys, I'm Sarah. And I'm Tony. And we are the, the Real, Real Estate, Estate Robinsons. Robinsons. down with our amazing cleaner Casey and ask her all the questions you need to know on how to scout for that perfect cleaner, what expectations to set from the get-go, and so much more. Um, but just want to point out, so sorry for the awful quality of the video. We're still learning. Yeah. We didn't know what white balance was, no so clue. sorry. Um, and Casey keeps walking out of the shot, so she was a little bit camera shy, but here we go. Hey guys, it's Sarah and I'm here in Pigeon Forge and I want to introduce you to our amazing cleaner, Casey. Woo! She's a little shy, so it's okay, Casey. These are nice people. We all love her and we just want to show her off to you guys. So your cleaning crew is literally the most important part of your yes. team when it comes to running your short-term rental. They are your eyes and ears on the ground. And honestly, their work is the very first thing that your guests see. Okay. So if they're dropping the ball, if your cleaning crew isn't doing what they're supposed to do, the very first person that's going to tell you is your guest. Yes. And that's the last thing that you want. So she was a referral and we have two cabins currently here in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. And she was pretty much our lifesaver here. She helped us with like start to finish to set up the cabin. So um, it was no question. We already knew we needed to keep Casey. She's a gold mine. So um, we just got our second cabin here in Pigeon Forge. And again, she's been so awesome and pretty much set the entire cabin up for us. Um, we live in California. So um, having a cleaner and a team in place as amazing and crucial as the wonderful Casey is so vital and it's possible. So I wanted to show her or show her off to you guys just to let you know that you can also find an amazing team and amazing cleaners wherever your market um, your, and your Airbnb is at. We know it can be really difficult to find that perfect cleaner for your team. So we hope this video inspires you guys and answers your questions on how to find that perfect cleaner for you guys. Um, but most importantly, do not to be afraid to fire your cleaners. Unfortunately, that's just the nature of the game and it's gonna happen until you find that perfect person like we found Casey. Now, part of being a successful short-term rental owner is leading and managing people. And your cleaners and your handyman, but your cleaners specifically are probably the people that you're going to have to lead and manage the most. And unfortunately, sometimes that does mean that you have to lead them out the door, right? Yeah. You, and as unfair or as you know, kind of uncomfortable as it can seem at the end of the day, you're running a business. And if the people that you're paying aren't holding their weight, um, you gotta find someone that can. Your cleaning team can either build your business up or tear it down. So your cleaning team is crucial. Do not be afraid to let them go if you see that decline start to happen. So we asked Casey, who's our cleaner out in Tennessee, what are the things that a property owner should be looking for when they're looking to hire a cleaner for their residence? So let's hear what she had to say. My biggest thing would be, I don't know, just definitely get, you know, get references on your cleaners for sure. That's like the biggest thing. Um, definitely references would be my first. References? Um, oh gosh. Maybe like, a, would you recommend the homeowners interviewing or oh, is yes. that something people do? Yes. Like yep. setting up a phone call or a Zoom just so you can get a vibe from the cleaner just to make sure you guys one mesh well and you pick up on on their qualities, right? Right, I think definitely conversation is a, the biggest thing yeah. because when they start talking, they're gonna tell you a lot. I don't know, I just think you get a lot out of it. Absolutely. Um, when we, we spoke with Casey, we, we right away were like, we love her, she was like on it and recommend, she wasn't shy to say, you know, I think all of your quilts are ugly, you need to replace all of them, you know, and that's important. She yeah. knows the, the location and she knows more of the Tennessee life than we do, you know, we've never even been here. So getting those kind of recommendations and, um, you know, making it feel like they know what they're talking about, that's important, so awesome. We also asked Casey what her cleaning process looks like. I trained all my girls the same way and we all do the same thing, so it's like, you know, me personally, I train all my crews to do the same to work the same way. You start at the top, then the bottom, then your 
wherever your exit door is is where you stop. Okay. So we are pretty much trained the same way. You go from one corner of the room all the way around in each room that you're in. So that's how we... So there's not a, a physical like checklist you guys go through, right? No. I've heard people um, doing this, so if you feel more comfortable doing that, then by all means provide a checklist of things you 100% want your cleaner to hit and, and hand that to them, you know? Is that something you would be open to doing? Like, is that something cleaners yes, would... because okay. every, yeah, every homeowner has their wants right like, and it's every homeowner is different so their needs are going to definitely be different so yeah definitely they do work awesome yeah. like she was just asking me um if we wanted swans on the bed i was like what is a swan on the bed <laughs> and she said that some of her other homeowners create those fun little towel swans on the beds and it gives that hotel feel for the guests when they come in and see their bed so yeah, yeah those are just certain quirks that each homeowner wants so keep that in mind now a big part of managing your cleaners is making sure that they actually know when to clean your property yeah. there are different ways to do this you can give them access to your airbnb account if you want to uh, you can text them, you can send them photos of your calendar. Um, we've since automated this part of our business with an app called Smart b, &B. Yeah. Uh, but Casey is going to share how she manages that part of her business for uh, property owners that aren't using a property management software like we are. I get emails telling me anytime there's a new reservation and I always put that in my calendar and then I always have the homeowners send me like a monthly calendar also so I can compare it to what I already have to make sure I don't miss nothing or make sure I didn't, you know, I always try to cross my T's. Yeah. <laughs> so extra, I always try to get an extra calendar if I can. And then some of them I actually have access to the calendar. Oh, cool. I can go on myself every morning, see if there's any changes, that sort of thing, awesome. which it works for me. So, and we always clean our cabins the very day they check out. Yeah. So it's, That's been working. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Definitely. We've we've had Casey since the start of our journey here with short-term rentals in Pigeon Forge, and not once have we had an issue with um, calendar issues or her not, uh, you know cleaning uh, a cabin in time. So seems like her process works. So, but I think you have to be super organized. Oh yeah. So uh, you know, also when you're interviewing your cleaner, maybe pick up or ask those questions mm -hmm. to confirm that they're as organized and on top of it yeah. as Casey because if you're not organized and you miss you know a checkout date then you're you can potentially screw that all up and then a guest will check into a dirty cabin and then that's all bad bad reviews bad reviews equals bad listing so nope. yeah and another thing I would say with homeowners that are just starting out like when you talk to your cleaners ask them how many they have ask them what how many how what? many properties they take care of oh ask the to cleaners me, that? yeah I think that's a really big thing because in this area this is definitely where the market is you know what I'm saying like cleaners and, yeah but there's some you know that may have tons of cabins and I've got friends that got 50 to 100. oh wow so it's like I just think that's a good thing to keep in mind is so you're saying if they're too busy if they have too many cabins they're taking care of then that might be something to think about yes got it because so, it's just I don't know I just think to be be so big you got to be careful because right like know. if they're too busy they might that's easier for them to mess up on the calendars mm -hmm. and you know something else you should be definitely asking when you're interviewing potential cleaners is how big is their team or if they're a one-man show what does scheduling look like etc usually if it's somebody that's been in this business they already got that set up on their end to where they're covered if something's wrong with me I still have backup. So get a feel for the scheduling of a rotation of cleaners or, or what their crew looks like, right? Yeah, because right. there's some that do not, like when it checks out, they don't want to have a turn on that day. Right. They want a day's gap. Yeah, we are, we interviewed cleaners in Joshua Tree and some of them said that and we're like, girl, we're trying to rotate quickly. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. yeah, interviewing is key. So make oh, sure you yeah. interview, have a, a conversation. This is a potential like job opportunity for them too. So they're gonna be willing to have a talk with you. So don't be shy to ask those hard pressing questions and really get to know um, your cleaner because you might meet the most amazing cleaner ever like Casey. So I hope this was super 
super um, informative for you guys and good luck in finding a really good cleaner because they really are the most important part of your crew. Um, you know, they, they are your eyes and ears when you're not around and are, if they're as amazing as Casey, are willing to do whatever to make this a successful uh, mm -hmm. partnership. It's not just our cabin. We always say this is our cabin, yeah. you know. She is the reason why it is successful and we are getting booked so uh, frequently. Our reviews often say how, how great and clean our cabin looks. So thank you, Casey. <laughs> Now, we started the video off by talking about how you shouldn't be afraid to fire your cleaner if they're not doing what they need to be doing. Yeah. But on the other hand, you should also make sure that you're rewarding your cleaner when they're doing a good job. Yes. Um, we've given bonuses. We've sent Christmas gifts. Just because gifts. Just because gifts, because the cleaners are that important to your business. So when you find one that you like, make sure you take care of them. Or even just send them a sweet text message thanking them, being uh, super appreciative for their services and the value they bring to your team and your business. So guys, we hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Uh, we hope you gained some value from hearing our amazing cleaner, Casey, and how she runs her business, which in turn helps us run our business. Yeah. Uh, now, if you guys have any questions about the cleaning process or really anything else short-term rental related, please drop them in the comments. Uh, we'll do our best to either answer <laughs> them or if it's a good enough question, we'll create a, a, whole, a whole new, new video. video. Um, so you guys get some more real estate Robinsons in your life. Um, so thank you guys. We appreciate it. Again, shout out to Casey. We love you. We appreciate you so much. You are a huge reason why we've been able to be so successful in Pigeon Forge. We love you. We love your team. Thank you. And to those um, investors watching, take a note of what I just did. Give your girl a shout out. Thank her. Love on her. Love on the team. Because like Tony said, they are crucial to the success of your business. So guys, if you haven't yet already, please subscribe to our channel, smash the subscribe button, smash the like button. Um, we're not sure what else people say on YouTube, <laughs> but uh, we appreciate it. I think as we're recording this video, we're at 995 subscribers. <laughs> so we'll be super excited when we get to a thousand and we cross that threshold. So we love you guys. We thank you guys. And we'll be back in the next video. If you want to learn more about our business, make sure to check us out on alphageekcapital.com or follow us at Tony J. Robinson at Sarah Rad. And we'll see you on the next one. Peace. Pretty good! What do you think?